or hello if you're a welcoming subscriber. I hope you enjoyed my little process clips there. If you watched my previous monthly spread video, my November one, you would have realised that the process clips were much longer and I'm so sorry. Um, they were a bit too long and I'm sorry that these ones were too short but I thought that if I videoed everything it would be too hard for me especially with my vision it would just be too much of a hassle so instead I just took a bunch of photos put them together and shared them with you guys the rest of this video is going to be me talking about why I do things the way I do them so this is my December spread there's the lettering up there and I added some stickers. I've added Christmas and New Year's already. I basically wanted to lay it out like this so that I could easily see everything because monthly spreads work better than weekly spreads for me. For me, like it's different for everyone, but for me, weekly spreads are better. And you would have known that from my previous video, but um, these lines next to the dates are gonna be where I put my mood for each day. It's not really a mood tracker because there's no key or anything, but I'm, if I'm feeling frustrated that day, then I'm gonna write frustrated, or if I'm feeling excited, then I'll feel then I'll fill it in and write excited. And yeah, that's basically it. I attempted to do something cool there with a sticker. I cut it in half because I didn't want it to interrupt Christmas, but I wanted to make it so that the feet were walking out of 2018 and into 2019 like literally but I didn't want it to cover up Christmas so I cut it and the skirt looks a little awkward like I wanted to make it look like she was going behind that one box but I don't think it worked too well but yeah that's basically what I've got and then I'm just gonna fill it in for me filled in squares are events non filled in squares are things to do and Circles are reminders, and then if I remember them, it's filled, I color it in. And that's basically my process. I know this video is probably really short, but I really just wanted to film it. Instead of listing the products down below, I might as well just show you now what I use. I didn't include everything in the process, in the process clips because I ended up wanting to use other things as well. But I'll show you what I use now, I guess. So I basically just have this Muji pen that I used to draw the lines and the dates. And then I had a ruler somewhere. Yeah, I had a ruler. I used a ruler. I have this gold marker thing that I didn't end up using. It's really pigmented, but I thought that it might stand out too much. I might end up using that there, I don't know. And then for Crayola Super Tips, I used these three. This one wasn't in the process clips. So um, I'll put the names of these on the screen because I forgot what they're called. But it's basically just this grey, this olive green. And this green, which I thought was a pine green, but it was much lighter. That's why I had to use the olive green over it. I used this Miniso Dual Brush Pen just for darker lines. And I'm probably going to use this um, to write a few notes about the day. It's just this pencil looking thing, but it's a pen. It's just a felt tip pen. And then, yeah, that's basically what I used. Oh, yeah, and I used this washi tape from Kmart, and I got this from a friend. And the stickers, if you're wondering where the stickers are from, the stickers are actually from AliExpress. Kind of like Wish, if you've heard of Wish, but Chinese. My friend got them for me, and then I like just like repaid her the money. But yeah, it comes with over 170 stickers, and it was a pretty good deal. That's all I have for you guys today. Hey guys, it's me again. Yep, it's not the end of the video. I just wanted to quickly update you guys, because um, it's around halfway through December now, on what I'm doing, what I've changed in my bullet journal. I, I, I. I think I've mentioned before in this video that I don't like weekly spreads because they don't work for me, but I wanted to give them another chance. So I started setting out weekly spreads like this, like this, and um, yeah, I think I was right when I said that they don't really work for me because, I don't know, it's just complicated. Even though I write things down and I write things to do, I write events and stuff, 
whenever I put something down and I don't complete it, I find it annoying how I have to move it over to the next day with a little arrow, and it just doesn't work for me. So next year, I think I'm just going to continue with a monthly one. I am going to buy a weekly journal just in case though. I'm not going to um, draw up my own ones in here though because it's just too much work and I don't think it'll work anyway for me. So yeah, I think next year I'm just going to buy a monthly, weekly and daily one and then keep going with my personal monthly ones. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. I know this video is really short, but if you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe.